Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is our Wednesday edition of Rasaji Speaks. Chen likes to call Hump Day, right? Let's see what our title is today. Finding Freedom, Overcoming Codependency Through Self-Discovery. Wow. Wow. You know, when we tune into the gathering, whether we're with Sister Lynette at one o'clock or with Sister Don at night at 730 uh, Eastern time, both on the Eastern time, you hear a lot of people empowering themselves through the teachings of Tai Chi Gong and the Circle of Chi. And they're overcoming all of these codependent relationships. You know, as we become more conscious every day, we're kind of amazed at how many codependent relationships we had going on. I know in James Redfield's first book, The Celestine Prophecy, he says a lot of that's based in sibling rivalry that we grew up with four major personality traits that we have. You know, some of us are aloof, evasive. Some of us are a little controlling. Others are manipulating. You know, these kind of things form codependent relationships. And because there's a lot of things that go on, the dynamics that go on through the blood families, a lot of times we're doing things more out of a sense of obligation than we really are out of a sense of passion or let alone compassion. But as we grow, we learn the art of varegi, of detachment. We learn that sometimes other people's stuff, it's not necessarily our stuff. Even sometimes the person that we lay next to at night Sometimes it's their stuff, and sometimes it's not our stuff, and sometimes it's both of our stuff. But through the column exercise, through mirror meditation, and through just doing your Tai Chi Gong exercises and raising your consciousness, when the flashlight of consciousness turns on and begins to shine through all these situations, you kind of know where to start to draw the line on the codependency things. You know, let go and let God. Mm -hmm. When Jesus said, let my family be, or let my people be, as he marched into Passover during the Lenten season, wasn't just talking to the Pharisees, wasn't just talking to the Sanhedrin, Oh, yes, they were at the core of who he was talking to, but he was also talking to us. You know, let our families be. Love them where they're at. And then let them go. And when you're a parent or a grandparent, it's not the most easiest thing to do. A child is connected with a mother and father for a minimum of a lifetime. And as you become more aware of your past lives, you'll find, oh my God, it overlaps there too. It's just when you look at people's already field, that 4D body, when they first start working on themselves, you'll see energy as thick as molasses running through their aura. And it's all that emotional saltwater taffy kind of energy that keeps us from growing, right? That really keeps us from growing. So hopefully as you pursue the art of Tai Chi Gong, you do so and you practice enough and you embrace it enough so that you truly, truly, truly understand that in my soul I'm free and let my people be as Jesus said. Remember, don't forget to tune in to the gathering today with Sister Lynette at 1 p.m. Eastern and with Sister Don tonight, 7.30 p.m. You will hear 
some remarkable stories about how people are learning to incorporate Varegi detachment and yet be able to love their family and dear ones more than ever before. Lead by example, let the manipulations of the inner family dynamics go and you will truly feel free. Free indeed ye shall be. Baraka Bashad, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Thursday's edition of Versace Speaks. God bless you. God bless your family. See you soon.